Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's the second half to chapter four. This is where things sort of change dramatically, some for the better and some for the worse, I'm afraid. We are going to start section 414. We are still talking about Ka and Kb, but now we're calculating them for um, weak acids. Uh, we've never done this before. Everything that we've calculated up until this time has been for strong acids, which ionize 100. Weak acids do not ionize 100. They ionize about 5%. So what we have to do is an ice table. Don't freak out. We've done these a few times before and you're good at them. We're going to do an ice table to solve for a few things. We're either going to solve for the Ka, we're either going to solve for initial concentration, or we're going to solve for H3O+, plus, and you can convert it to um, pH. So there are three things there which require three different questions. I'm going to do one of each. We'll solve for the Ka, we'll solve for initial concentration, and we'll solve for H3O or pH. To do that, I've made up this kind of a fake equation, kind of like a stencil, which I really, really, really think is going to benefit you. Every single one of these questions has this setup. Ka equals x squared over C naught minus x. Now before you freak out, this is the Ka, which is on your chart. The initial concentration is CO. That's like a little sub-zero if you're in physics. C naught is initial concentration. And x is what we're going to be solving for down there. I'm not using an s because that's for solubility. I'm using an x on purpose. So this is that little formula. You're going to be given two out of the three parts. And you need to solve for the unknown. In my first question, you're solving for x. And you're given c naught. You're also given ka, which will be on your chart. The ka will be 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4. So we know the Ka, we know the initial concentration, now we're solving for x. So let's plug everything into the ice table and you'll see exactly where we're going with this. So to start off, HF is a weak acid. Identify that. It's not a strong acid like they've been in, in every single question to this point. So we're going to write out the weak acid ionization. HF plus H2O, double arrow, goes to F minus and uh, H3O plus. You're going to have I, C, E, and water is a liquid. We don't use liquids or solids in equilibrium, so we can ignore that. So what do we know? Well, we know initial concentration is 0.1, which means these are zero, just like before. What else do we know? Nothing which means we need the x's. This has to shift to the right. So these are going to go up by a value of x, and these are going to go down by a value of x. Keep in mind, in chapter 4, everything is a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio. We will never have two x's like we did in chapter 2. At equilibrium, we're going to have 0.1 minus x, x, and x. So let's write out the Ka expression, and let's plug in what we know. 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4 from my chart equals x squared over 0 0.10 minus x. What we need to do is solve for x, and there is one trick which the physicists love. We know it ionizes very, very, very little. So we know x is going to be an incredibly small number, so small that we can assume this bottom thing here you can assume that 0.1 minus x is approximately equal to 0.1. You don't need to include that x down there if you don't want to, but you have to show this assumption so the marker, aka me, knows what you're doing. So all we're going to do now is we're going to rearrange this to solve for x. So we're going to go x equals 0 0.10 times 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4 square root to isolate simply x and we're going to get a final answer of 5.9 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. That's it, folks. That's a Ka question for a weak acid. We now know the concentration of H3O+. Sometimes we'll have to go one step further and convert it into pH, but we're not going to do that here. We're going to, we'll do that tomorrow in class. So I have a little shortcut for this, which another teacher told me about, and I love it. 
he calls it the root beer. And here's how it works. X will equal the square root of CO times Ka. The square root of the initial concentration times Ka. So that's like Coca-Cola. Coca, there's a root beer, square root. It's a stretch, people, but you're laughing on the inside. So whenever you need to solve for X, think of root beer, and you'll get it right every single time. Square root of Coca. It's dumb, but it works, and you'll remember it. Question number two, change it up a little bit. 0.35 molar solution, that's your initial concentration of a weak acid. It tells us it's a weak acid, HA, and has a pH of 1.62. That's your X. We need to find the Ka. So the weak acid has this equilibrium. Write out your ice table. We're solving for Ka. So there's our expression. We need to know we need to know the concentration of H3O. So we have to go uh, 10 to the negative pH, which is going to be 10 to the negative 1.620, and that has an answer of 2.39 times 10 to the negative 2. So that goes into our ice table. So the initial concentration is 0 0.350. We're ignoring that column. That's 0 and 0. At equilibrium, the concentration of H3O was that. 2.3 times 10 to the negative 2. Number goes everywhere in our ice table. These are increasing by that number. HA is decreasing by that number. So this is going to end up at 2.39 times 10 to the negative 2. And that's going to be 0 0.350 minus 2.39 times 10 to the negative 2. All of those numbers go into our expression, which equals 2.39 times 10 to the negative 2 squared over 0 0.350 minus 2.39 times 10 to the negative 2. Folks, I'm keeping it exactly like my stencil. x squared over c naught minus x. Very, very simple. You plug all that into your calculator. One nice, easy step, paying attention to brackets, you're going to get 0 0.00177. Okay? And that's the Ka. There are no units for Ka. That's the end of that question little different, but once you get the pattern, really, really straightforward. You're solving for Ka, which means you have to be given the other two things, X and C0. Let's do the third and final example before we call it a day. We're going to find the concentration, so we need, we need to find C0, needed to form a solution with a pH of that. So there is your X. So the first thing I would do is I would go 10 to the negative pH which is 10 to the negative 2.69, which equals uh, 2.04 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. Okay. We also know the Ka. That's on our chart. So we're given X, and we're given the Ka, and we're going to solve it for C0. So the initial concentration is unknown. It's right there. The products are 0, 0, because we have nothing. And that number, 2.04, is littered throughout the whole ice table. So just start throwing it in. That's going down by 2.04. Okay, so I did all that. Now we're plugging it into our Ka expression. Our Ka expression, which what we're, we're, um, we need to know, is going to be 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4 equals 2.04 times 10 to the negative 3 squared, there's our x squared, divided by c naught minus x. Okay, so now in brown here, I typed this ahead of time to save some time for this video, we're going to isolate c naught. So we're going to bring that bottom term up to the top on the other side. We're going to get rid of the brackets by bombing this through. We're going to collect the like terms, so we're going to add 
3.65 to the negative 7 on both sides. Then we're going to divide both sides by 1.8 to the negative 4. And we're going to get our final answer of our initial concentration. This is a little longer. It's the algebra at the end you'll have to slow down on. But those are the only three styles of questions. Period. So we're going to do a few of these in class tomorrow. We've got some whiteboard activities planned, and you will dial this in tomorrow. The one question after this we'll also do tomorrow. So we'll see you then.